say that the Lord and we'll rejoice and be glad it is. We want to walk you to the faith house. We ask that you praise all your electronic devices off and get yourself off the praise the Lord demeanor. Oh, yes, today is you Sunday today. And you can stop and clap and shout whatever you do. Because it's better get hot up in here. Amen. How wonderful it is. Should the yeah. God Jesus promise. Jesus promise he'll take care of me. Say, oh, how marvelous. Oh, how marvelous it is. Should my Jesus promise. Jesus promise he'll take care of me. Said I don't have to worry about the things ahead. Said I don't need to worry about tomorrow because I knew who supplies all my need. Say I don't have to worry about the things ahead. Look to your neighbor and say I don't have to worry about the things ahead. Said I don't have to worry about the things ahead. I don't have to worry. About the things ahead Said all I have to do is live right And believe in what he said Shout out to Keaton at Ball State University. <laughs> then she just got down there. We want to send a shout out to 2019 freshman class secretary, drumline member, theatrical troupe member in her first month, Danielle Jewel Scott. <laughs> Danielle been in school three weeks and she didn't already ran for political office. And one, she's already on the drum line, and she's already in the theatrical department. Congratulations to Danielle. And then Danielle is a freshman, Keaton is a freshman, and another freshman is the newest freshman at LSU, Louisiana State University, Mike Ruffin, Jr. <laughs> then at Langston University, 
This is so awesome because she is a junior, even though she was a high school senior last year. Because last year, she took college courses and high school courses that when she graduated, she graduated with an associate's. So now she is a junior of freshman age, giving up for Haviland Frierson. And then her older sibling and sister, who's a junior at Illinois State University, give it up for Camille Frierson. So we want to send a shout out to all of our college students. Uh, uh, I want to say to the parents, uh, just kind of keep them. But we're so proud of them. They're out there doing their thing. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. And you need to know in this generation, you'll go nowhere without education. So we just want to encourage them to keep Sing the praises to our king, for he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to Why? our king, for he's the king of kings. What you talking about? We sing the praises to our king, for he is the king of what kings. We, we sing the praises to our king, for he's the king of kings. Give him glory, Give him glory. for he is the king. Give him glory, for he's the king of kings. Give him glory, for he is the king. Give him glory, for he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to our king. That's what we do. For he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to our king. For he is the king of kings. Come on here, come on. We sing the praises to our king. For he is the king of kings. Tell him we sing. The praises to our king. For he is the king of What you do? Glory, for he is the king. You ought to give him glory, for he is the king of kings. Come on, give him glory, for he is the king. You ought to give him glory, for he is the king of kings. Oh, hail King Jesus. Come on. Oh, anybody come to have church? What you say?
some praise. Amen. The history on how how I met him. About three years ago, there was a young lady who's their choreographer and who's like a second mother to them. Miss Kia, give her a hand. Amen. Amen. And Kia, she gonna look out for the girl. She had sent about two or three messages about they were going to come. And so things were just happening because I had never heard of the CAC. I hadn't heard of them. And so she said, so she bought them here one day. And then when she bought them, they danced. And they danced so well that they brought me to tears. Now, if you know me back in the 80s that I started a group called the Save by City Crusade because they said East St. Louis was one of the worst cities in America. And I wanted to show them that there was a good side to the east side. So we went from like eight traveling all around the country doing plays and singing and musicals because I want to let them know y'all had one side of the east side. I raised a whole generation, mother. About 10 years, so I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. I raised a generation. Then I had my guy, baby. I had her at five and she's 28. I said, I'm done. All of a sudden, these little girls, they come and they was 12 of them and they stole my heart. So first of all, after what I said, who would like to talk? This one right here. Uh, she going on uh, 65 with her growth self. <laughs> so she came up and she talked. And as I, as I was, uh, uh, had tears in my eyes, she just kept staring at me. So I was already halfway hooked. So then I said, I'm going to take them. I love them because I said, I'm going to take them to McDonald's. And I love them because they're grateful, thankful, and appreciative. Because I ain't have money to feed all of them, 12 of them. So I bought like four things of McNuggets, and three things of fries. We split them up. And everybody, and so this one brought me to tears. She came up to the counter, and she said, do you promise that you will never leave us? Come on, say amen, somebody. I get teary-eyed just, just thinking about it. And so y'all know I was hooked then. So I adopted 12 of them, 12 little girls. And y'all know little girls different than little boys. Because little boys, I met the little boys, and I thought I had it down. And then I had a goddaughter, him, or oh, little girls, they, sometimes they just be crying for no reason. I think I'm ugly. You're not ugly. You're supposed to say that. What am I supposed to say then? What am I supposed to say then? <laughs> but I don't care if she talked for hours. I was listening. And so I, I adopted uh, 12 of them. And the rest of them are going to come up here and dance. So uh, we are... The covering, so uh, we are the covering for them. And people say, who are they? Are they CAC? Are they love bugs? Or are they ignited for Christ? They all three. Because they came from the CAC, and Kia got them like as babies almost. And so she took them, and she trained them to dance. When she brought them to me, and I adopted them, they became my love bugs. And that's why she's special because Kia said, did y'all think y'all were going to be some love bugs? And she was the only one that looked at Kia and said, yes. Kia said, how you know? Because I saw it in his eyes. <laughs> Say amen, somebody. So after a while, uh, uh, Kia decided uh, they should have a name. And she came up with a name that was Ignited for Christ. So they came through the CAC. Now, they were love bugs before they were united for Christ. So y'all so always love bugs, but they're also united for Christ because I don't know. Now, I got some moves, but I don't want to show my moves out. They won't let me show them no dance moves. But she is their choreographer. She is the one that teaches them all their moves. So they are CAC, they are love bugs, and they are ignited for Christ. So I call them that. Y'all are three in one. And one thing before they come, y'all, I, I praise God for them. Most of them come from the Gumper homes. The Gumper homes are one of them. Some people say you don't look like what you've been through. They don't look like what they're going through. Because even though they come from, thank God, because, you know, now they get into the age where little boys trying to, trying to talk to them, and they be telling me they ain't, uh, they ain't interested. She had two offers last week. Amen. And she had, to, she, 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 she had to turn them down. That's what she told me. You told me the truth, right? Amen, amen, amen. We was out of town last week, and some little boy, he mob danced. I mean, he brought it down, little handsome young man, little handsome young man, and, and, and he about tall as her, and he comes in, I like the way you dance. 
She said, I like the way you dance, too. <laughs> so he say, although he up here and she here, he said, baby, baby, he. I said, as long as he three hours away, he can't touch you. Amen. Say amen, somebody. And my shell, she be holding out on me. She be holding out on me. She say she ain't, she ain't liking no little boy, but all the other girls. The one thing I like, they tell on each other. And I want them to keep telling on each other. And to tell everything, because now that y'all get into to little boys. But these two young ladies right here are also martial arts champions. They've got medals in martial arts. So whatever little boy stand be messing with them, he might get his hand broke. And they so competitive, they had them wrestling each other one time just to kind of just show, as, as, as the, it was a, some kind of event, just to kind of show what they do. And they was wrestling each other like they were wrestling opponents because they competitive. Because where you come from, you got to be competitive. So, I, I'm so, I'm so I'm so happy and so proud for all of them, all of them. They're honor students. And, yes, they look girls. And sometimes they, they, they go there, and I have to have a come to Jesus meet with them just yesterday. But, I mean, they kids. But for the most part, I love them because one thing about it, they dance, they act, they step, and they do everything for the Lord. And when they dance, I mean, they take the roof off the house. So they're not going to dance today. They're going to do something different. But I want y'all to welcome them because when they are here, they are ours. Now, these two right here. They already told me that they members. She told me, she said, she's going she gonna to be here forever. I said, well, what happens when you get married and have kids? They're going to be here too. And, 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 and baby, baby don't be playing. Baby, baby, she was dancing at another place, and uh, Penny was teasing her about, you know, also you got to go to your other church. She said, that's not my other church. This is my church, and that's my pastor. Come on, say amen, somebody. <laughs> so I made them a promise that I'm going to see them all the way through graduation. And I go to their schools, their counselors, uh, the